Are Michelangelo's statues, specifically I'm thinking of the statue of David in Florence, mm. are they pornographic? Pornographic. So I couldn't believe this story. I read this this week. So there's a, a principal at the Florida school has had to resign uh, because a parent claimed that the sixth grade students who were being, well, they claimed they were being shown pornographic images, but the image they were being shown was Michelangelo's statue of David and it was shown during a Renaissance art lesson. Diane, this is, this is not <laughs> pornography. It's, it's one of the most important works of art ever produced. It's an absolutely incredible work of art. And I'm very surprised that um, they say that this is pornographic. I get it, he's naked. But surely part of the, the artwork is the context, is the fact that David beat Goliath. And right. we, we see him naked and vulnerable, and yet he took down a giant. He took down a giant while he was naked. I mean, that would add a level, of, <laughs> you know, a level of embarrassment and difficulty to the, to the battle. Also, I mean, I guess it brings up that whole argument of what is art, what is pornography, because you watch, like, a Nicki Minaj pop video, yeah. and I'm sorry, that's pornography in my book. But are you thinking of Anaconda? I am. Yeah, oh I thought my you might God. be, yeah. See, you are gay. So... <laughs> <laughs> Never denied it, Diane. <laughs> no, well, it's for all the people on Twitter who go, no, he's not. Yes, he is. Um, <laughs> I also quite like Michelangelo, so there, he was gay as well. Le Leo, I mean, do you think... Look, I would say you can show a picture of Michelangelo's name, but I think we all know what it looks like, yeah. you know. Well, it definitely doesn't look like porn. <laughs> I, I don't know if anybody's seen porn, but Michelangelo David is, is, is much too small and isn't... <laughs> isn't <laughs> and I actually quite know, it's a very big statue, it's much bigger yeah, than the, the, it's the part that you could be offended I about. I knew you were talking and, about. and it's not going in <laughs> and out of an orifice very quickly, so it's Leo. definitely it's definitely not porn. Yes. Um, but this, what's inter interesting about this is it's a Simpsons plotline. So the Simpsons seems to be predicting everything. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This? yeah. So, so they, they suggested... Wait, wait a minute, by the way, is this coming from the right... Well, the, it's coming from the Republicans, yeah. isn't it? Although, uh, yeah, so it's in Florida where Ron DeSantis is, uh, you know, clamped down on sexualized teaching in schools. Yes. Uh, and to be fair to, to this decision, it's about the, it's more about the sort of, um, just the, the administration. So they're supposed to send out right. a letter that says, we're going to be showing your, uh, your child this statue. By the way, uh, it's got a, a small marble penis. Uh, so <laughs> they didn't send out that letter. They don't need to. It's, it's a, a work of Renaissance but, art. You don't they, need to... You don't need to explain away a but naked they, they, body part. They do, because uh, because in Florida they've got these rules and every year they send out the letter but, and it's uh, always fine. But this is my problem with it. I think this is happening on both the left and the right, OK? Because I get that some people on the right are upset by sexually graphic material which is getting into schools, which mm. it is. And I get that you want to clamp down on that. But then they go too far and say, we've got to ban anything. And, and statues, you know, important works of art like this. Like this is, and this is coming from the right. So we say that the left are being very sensorial at the moment. I think the right are doing it too. They are doing it as well, and it, it's a bit of a Wild West education because at the moment, sort of, the culture war has pushed its way into education and mm. into schools, um, both here and across the pond, probably worldwide, to be honest with you. And so people are still sort of, like, finding what is acceptable. But you're right, at what point does it stop being art and start being pornography? Well, I think the point when it's exploitative, when it's, uh, you know, I mean, I, I think we all instinctively the know... Point where the you have to open an anonymous browsing tab. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> I mean, let's face it. Michelangelo's David is not titillating. No, it's not. And it not. wasn't designed to be titillating. That, I mean, I think that is the obvious difference, isn't it? But, you know, maybe it's just me. I'm not an art critic. Anyway, we're going to move on. Actually, having that said that, Camille Paglia, the commentator Camille Paglia, did claim that Michelangelo was a pornographer. She, <laughs> she, she actually did make that argument, so who knows. 